Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to share a little bit about uh, Word 2010 and also Word 2007 translator services that you can translate from one language to another. Uh, something what's called in 2010 actions where you can convert from kilometers to miles and in 2007 they call it smart tags and uh, some add-ins for doing chemistry homework or papers to where you can add chemistry molecule structures and math add-ons to do graphs and mathematical calculations and something that is known as the ribbon hero which helps you to learn and navigate and more, learn more about the ribbon features of Microsoft Word 2007 onwards. So first I want to tell you about the translator service. Like up here I've got this word called in French, bonjour, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Now, when I point to it, I get a explanation for it. This is in 2010. For some reason, this is not being recorded by my recording program. And I just want to show you what it looks like. Uh, just a minute. Okay. So this is what it looks like right here the way it shows up in this screenshot that I have taken for some reason it's not showing up but if you try it at home it should work now before you can start using this service in 2010 and 2007 you'll have to go to the review tab click in the translate option and then choose the mini translator to be turned on and you can also go to and once you when you do that you will get this choose language option so you can set this translate language to and you can choose to translate it to any of these languages so it could translate from English to Dutch Arabic Chinese or other languages in 2007 when you go to review around in this section for language look for an option called translation screen tip click it and choose a language for your translation and also you will find that there is an option to get updates when you go in this translation language option where they might have some new updates that you can add to it click OK to that okay. so the way it works is you just highlight and you point to it and it gives you the explanation I think in 2007 it necessarily doesn't work like that so you may have to right click on it choose and then click on the word translate and you'll get this window on the right hand side so just make sure you have from French to English I'm just gonna scroll down a little and there it gives me the explanation for it what it is and and all the wordings for it in 2010 they've added the extra feature that I can actually translate the whole sentence in 2007 this feature is not available so when I point to it it gives me a translation which is not visible to you but just try it at home it should work if you have office 2010 word if I right click on it and I go to left click on translate and I've got this option here on the right hand side I'm gonna scroll down and it gives me the explanation my name is Amir and if I choose I can copy it click next to it go to space go to home and I'm gonna hit paste and I can do the same thing here I can highlight this right click on it and I can hit translate and here it has translated and it says for some reason this one didn't work I have was able to make it work earlier for some reason it's not working I'll have to check this out maybe I've got the wrong translation working but wrong words in there but this is the way the translation service works so you don't have to go to the internet to actually get a translation you can go to Google Translate and there are yeah, Bing and Yahoo they have their own version of it now the next thing I want to tell you about is how to do conversions from kilometers or from Fahrenheit to Celsius and in 2010 when I highlight this I right click on it there is an option called additional actions in 2007 they are using a word called smart tags 
So to activate even additional actions, because you will not see these features, you have to activate it through options. So I'll just show you a different way of going to it. You click on the word file. In 2007, you'll click on the round button that is available here, which is called the office button. And then in you will see a option here around here called word options. In 2010, I just click on the options. Now from here, you just go to proofing and then you click on autocorrect options and when you click on this autocorrect you see a section here called actions and then you choose date I'm going to choose the date option and also the measurements and you can also choose the other options and you can click on more actions if you wanted to read more about it and it will take you to on the internet and it says enable additional actions in the right click menu now in 2007, I'm just going to show you a screenshot what it looks like. This is what it looks like in 2007 and you just need to look for the option called Smart Tags and then you're just going to put the check mark again for the appropriate information. And then they are saying something called Label Text with Smart Tags. Okay. So I'm just going to click OK, click OK. Now when I highlight this, I right click on it, I go to Additional Actions and I can choose convert it to 37.28 miles and it replaces it. I can even highlight this, right click, additional actions and I can change it to Fahrenheit. Now the thing with the date, the way it works is if I highlight it and I right click on it, additional actions, I can go to show my calendar. That means it will take me to my Outlook calendar and it will show me what's happening on that date, whether I'm free or what is it going on. Now I'll show you a screenshot of what it will look like in 2007. So when you add something like the 30 kilometers, you'll see a dotted line underneath it and you'll see this circle with the drop down button. And when you click on it, you will get this menu. So you'll be able to choose something from that, like 30 kilometers or any of the other measurement converters. So this is the only difference, a minor difference in 2007 to 2010. They've just added an extra feature in 2010. Let's come back to Word. At least otherwise, everything else is really the same. Now I need to tell you about the chemistry add-in, if you look on the top, and also the mathematics add-in. And you'll be able to add this for Word 2007 and 2010. So let me explain to you how to get these because you have to install it in your computer by downloading it from Microsoft's website. So let's look at it. I'm going to leave this link in the description section so you don't need to find out where it is and you can go to this. Now these are free tools available from Microsoft for education purposes. And if I scroll down, you'll find that a lot of different per education things that they have here. Microsoft Mathematics, which is like a completely separate program, nothing to do with Word or Excel. You can just use it independently. They have a math worksheet generator. You can click on it and you'll get a lot of guides and resources. They have a, a Kodu, something with the programming, for programming, to teach programming to kids. So it's nice, looks like a nice little feature. There is the chemistry add-in. You can click on it. And then you just download it. And I'm going to leave another add in. This add in works for 2007. I'm going to leave another one for 2010. And there was one more thing I wanted to share with you this one Microsoft Mathematics add in. This is that add in that I've added to Microsoft and Word. So you will find that lots of other things that you can look at programming, physics, and also the Ribbon Hero. This is the another thing that I've downloaded and installed on my computer, which is a game that helps you to learn about Microsoft Word. There's something called Touch Develop that helps something to create apps on smartphones. So you will need Windows Phone for this. It will not work with the other options. But I'll leave notes for these websites. Once you download and install this, you will get this chemistry and mathematics add-in and also I'm going to come to home and I have this 
ribbon hero, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. So what is this chemistry add-in? So say, for example, in this water molecule, I wanted to add H2O. So in this chemistry, I can go to chemistry gallery. And I can look for H2O. And what it does is it adds that symbol for me. And I can also edit it in 2D. And you can even click on something and you can change the molecule to something else. Like, I don't know if it will work or not because it has to be proper. So you see now the molecules changed. I can save it and I can close it. And it's giving me an error message. It's fine. But you can read more about it when you go to that website. You'll get a guide that you can download and also the help section here if you wanted to read more about it. Now, this chemistry navigator is something that's supposed to open up a section on the right hand side. But for some reason, I'm finding it's not working in 2010. I'm hoping they fix it because this is supposed to bring up, oh, there it shows up this time. So hopefully something's been fixed. So all the things that you add, they will be listed here. And wherever I needed to add it, I could just point to it and I can insert another copy of that right there. Now these are linked, so anytime you make any changes to this one, even this one will get updated. So it's a nice little feature if you wanted to try this. And you can turn off the chemistry navigator. I'll just close it from here. The next thing I want to tell you about is the mathematics add-in. Now this is where you can do all kind of equations, add different types of equations. You can also compute, you can calculate these equations and you can even graph it. So I'll just show you a simple kind. So I'll just click on that so I can type something here. I'll type sine x plus sine y. And if I want, I can go back to the mathematics. I can graph it in 3D. And it brings up this cool little graph. And you can even change things if you want it. And I can insert it. And that graph is added. So it's a nice little add-in that you can get and there are other add-ins that you can get for Microsoft Word. Now the last thing for this video, under Home, there is this thing called Ribbon Hero. It would be a good way for a lot of people who are new to Word and even Word 2007 or 2010, this would be a good way for them to start learning. So if I click on it, I've already collected 138 points. They give you points as you follow along. So let's see. Come on. It took some time. It finally showed up. So it's like this. And then anything you wanted to do, you click on it. So this is like a game to learn about Microsoft OneNote. This is something to do for Excel, for pie charts. And whenever I'm done, it puts a check mark. And it will start the program with this for PowerPoint. So say if I wanted to do this again. I can click on it and what it does is it opens up Microsoft OneNote and it's giving me this option It's saying me to do something. It's saying convert the handwriting to text automatically. So I'm just going to scroll down and find the handwriting. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to convert ink to ink to text and it will tell me I've got it right. If you didn't know how to do, you will can go through the hint. Now it says highlight the text under the first photo. So I can highlight it like this and also put a highlighter on it. And now it gives me, you know, that you've got it right. And then that way you keep going through all of them. You're going to keep collecting points. And I believe you can even share it with your friends on Facebook. And once you are done with this, this is level one. Then they'll take to level two and then level three. Okay. So that's it for this video, uh, which was about translation, conversion, chemistry, and mathematics add-in 
and also the ribbon hero. Thank you for watching. Hope this was useful.